So bow length, what is it? Why is it important? And how can you pick the correct bow length for you? I'm gonna go through the four main points that you need to understand so that you can pick the correct bow length for you and completely understand this very simple but very important part of your equipment. So before we get started, the question of the day is how many different lengths of bow have you shot? Let me know in the comments below for that and I'm gonna be very interested to see how many different lengths everyone has shot. I myself have shot three different lengths of bow, 66, 68 and 70 inch, and that's probably quite a common progression when you start as a junior, but I wanna see what length of bow you have shot, so let me know. So back to the video, the first key thing to understand is what exactly is the bow length and how is it made up? So if I get this bow here, you can see that the bow length is made up of the limb and the riser. So the riser is the metal part in the middle and the limbs are the bits that slot into there. This is a 25 inch riser, which is the standard size and the limbs are long limbs. So a 25 inch riser with long limbs makes a 70 inch bow. Now, this bow is specific to me in that this is the correct length of bow for my draw length and we'll get into that a little bit later on. Now, there are three main lengths of limb that are really common. That's a long, a medium, and a short. So the long limb, which is here, that makes a 70 inch bow with a standard riser. A medium limb makes a 68 inch bow, and a short limb makes a 66 inch bow. So those are the three main sizes of limbs, and you can also get different sizes of riser. 25 inch is by far the most common, and every manufacturer makes a 25 inch, but some manufacturers also make a 23 and a 27 inch riser, depending on the size or the model, or maybe if it's left and right handed. So if you get a 23 inch riser and you have long limbs, then that would only make a 68 inch bow. So depending on the combination, that is what creates the overall length of the bow. So the important thing here is to realize that the reason this is in place is only to compensate for draw length. So it's commonly thought that the bow length is created for your height, but that's not the case at all. It's actually for your draw length. Now, obviously your draw length is somewhat correlated to your height, but it's actually very different in terms of maybe if you've got different alignment or different shoulder position, different technique, your draw length will change. So you can't measure what bow you need just from your height. That's not a very useful indicator. Neither is it useful to measure it from your age, for example. So you have to look at draw length, not your height. So the second thing is why is the bow length important? Now basically, the bow length is important because it changes the characteristic and the feeling of your shot and other parts of your technique as well. So very, very generally, a longer bow will be more forgiving, but it will also be slower for a specific draw weight. So for example, if you have a 45 pound 70 inch bow, that will be very, very generally, can be more forgiving, but slower arrow speed compared to a 45 pound 66 inch bow. So on the flip side, a 66 inch bow that's 45 pounds will be faster, the arrow will travel faster to the target, so you'll probably get better sight marks, and you may very well get less wind drift because of that, but the 66 inch, the shorter bow, can be less forgiving. So there's obviously a interplay here between the factors and something to consider, and there's a trade-off when you decide on the length of bow that you're gonna shoot. However, these aren't the only factors that it comes to when you look at bow length. Also, when you are drawing the bow, depending on the length of the bow, the string angle will change. If you draw the bow, obviously your hands are on the string and you draw the bow to full draw. If the bow is longer, the string is gonna be at more of a straight angle. If the bow is shorter as you draw, the limbs will create more of an angle of the string and the string will be more angled away from you. So a longer bow will have a straighter string, and generally this can press into more of your face a bit harder, and a shorter bow will have more of an angle of the string, and it can press into your face a little bit less. Because of this angle, different lengths of bow can change your chest clearance slightly as well. So this is another factor to look at. And then finally, 
when you're hooking on the string, the more angle there is on the string, then the more tension there will be against the fingers trying to push the fingers together. So it can encourage you to pinch the knock slightly. But these factors are not reasons to decide which length of bow to shoot. If you're shooting correctly, your fingers will not pinch the arrow even with a slightly shorter bow, beyond, within reason obviously. If you shoot a 64 inch bow and your 32 inch draw length, then, then this might, <laughs> that might be a bit silly. But if you're shooting properly, your draw fingers shouldn't pinch the arrow. Also, if you're shooting properly, then you, know, you shouldn't have chest clearance issues. Again, there are other factors that you can look at and sometimes you should go outside the recommended range of bow length, but very, very generally, you really want to look at only the draw length as affecting the bow length. So the only real main decision that you should be making is the bow length based on the draw length. The other factors you need to correct in your shooting and you should get them correct anyway because it will improve your shooting and your scores. Now, with that said, Although you should really only use the draw length to indicate the bow length, it can be useful for some people to have a shorter bow, maybe to help with getting a faster arrow and improving sight marks if you struggle with distance, or maybe to improve a bit of chest clearance. And this is very individual, but this is on a case by case basis. And there are other things you can do, such as improve your posture, or change your other areas of equipment to increase the arrow speed and to reduce the chest clearance. So really, you should want to look at the draw length. Now, first of all, you should always make sure to just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, that's the first thing. And then secondly, you want to make sure that if you're shooting greater than 29 inches, a draw length of more than 29 inches, then normally you would recommend a 70 inch bow. If you're shooting a draw length more than 27 inches, that's a 68 inch bow. More than 25 inches is a 66 inch bow. And less than 25 inches is a 64 inch bow. So that's with a short riser and short limbs. If you're shooting more than 31 inches, if your draw length is more than 31 inches and you can get the bow, then sometimes a 72 inch bow in that case can be more forgiving and a better fit for you. So a couple of extra things here you will obviously need a different length string for different lengths of bow. But different manufacturers have slightly different lengths for their limbs. So you might find that you need a different length of string if you switch manufacturers, even though you've got the same length of bow. So bear that in mind and check your string length before you then make another string or buy another string to make sure that you don't waste a string because you've made it the wrong length. Secondly, I mentioned earlier that there are other things you can do to, for example, increase your arrow speed and help with your sight marks rather than having to shoot a shorter bow to increase the speed of your arrow. An example of this could be maybe switching to ACE arrows instead of using XTENS. That can improve your arrow speed, obviously, because the arrow is lighter. Perhaps you can change the number of strands in your string. Perhaps you can change your serving material on the center serving and change your knocks and change the knock fit, that can change your sight mark. Perhaps there's something in your technique that you can improve that will also improve your arrow speed, such as your release, which can have a really, really big impact on your arrow speed as well. So there are other things that you can look at before relegating yourself to think, I've got to go and get a 65 in, a 64 inch bow or a 66 inch bow when really you might need a 68 inch bow. So always prioritize getting the right length because it will be much more forgiving, it will be much easier to tune, and long term it will be much better for your technique as well. Now that was a quick overview of bow length, what it is and how you can pick the right bow length for you. I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments below how many different lengths of bow you have shot. And as always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can find us on social media and I'll put the links to those below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.